Hi guys, welcome back to Mass Effect 1 with me, Shifty373, and these Renegades people. Um, we're going to play uh, a little bit today, obviously. Uh, gonna go and um, speak to the council, because we didn't do that last time, and that's what we have to do. I put on subtitles, as you can see. No, I can't spare any time. I am off to see the council. If I do every single... Um, What's it called? Like, side quest? This would be the longest playthrough in history. Now I'm looking for Citadel Tower. There we go. Beautiful. And we're here. Awesome. So we're going to go and talk to the council. And, uh... That's going to be... Come on. Go. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Yeah, damn right. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think that Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. We have found I something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you the refused beacon. to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough! You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! No. A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Oh, come on. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Oh yeah, baby. That's right. Use your ID imprint finger thingies. Commander Shepard, step forward. Do I have to select that option? Or does he do it automatically? It'd be really funny if he's like, nah, I don't want it. And that ended the story right there. Now people watch. Not exactly a big crowd, is there? It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. 
Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Where is he? Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. Great. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Awesome, let's go find Saren! High five. No? Congratulations, oh. Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. I have a ship, You'll I've get got a crew. You'll access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre requisitions. And there's a special shop where we Anderson, can get lots of come stuff. With me. Nice. I'll need your help to set all this up. All right. <laughs> Bastard didn't even think. <laughs> That's what I, I was thinking. Sarah, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Oh yeah. Ooh, Spectre training charm and intimidate. Yeah, you could read as well, so I'm just gonna let that slide and pretend I didn't mess up. All right, let's look at the uh, squad and things that we've got unlocked now. Look at that, spec training. Oh yeah, motivated buyer. I upgraded a bit of uh, intimidate because I think that before I've I've finished this game on charm before with being a good guy, and if you look at the top left, it says paragon. I have like done all of that in the achievements and been a paragon and I'm pretty sure most people have been a paragon through their playthroughs so I'm gonna try and go renegade I mean I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing oh, what should I do I suppose I should probably start that grants unity ability okay I should probably get that straight away then if there's anything that grants stability within the first level of it, then I should probably um, get it ranked up pretty quick. Ooh, and everyone else gets lovely ranks as well. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Assault rifles. Yeah, unlock shotguns. That's nice. Give you a shotgun. I keep messing up. There we go, Tally. Come back. Alright, what's she got to unlock? Advanced overload. That's useful. I should probably get decryption on. Up a, up a bit too, because those can be used for uh, getting more money later on and things by uh, unlocking stuff in well, in side quests, but sometimes you'll just find things as you're walking along which might need that so what's our mission now? we'll go straight to it um right, so I've got to go where? Seasec Academy, okie dokie I've been there before so I can fast travel there, brilliant um, so what do you think of me trying to go for this evil version of Shepard? Oops, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Damn it. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Right, the um, little Spectre shop is down this way. Ooh, and I can scan another keeper. Yippee, bunny. Hello, requisition Check. officer. Can you up. How does he... Know who I am, even though he hasn't. I haven't Shepherd, given my name. Here with the yeah, that's military. me. First time on the sure is. About right? How did you know all that? Oh come on, he's got a computer. I'm the requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, supplies. Commander Shepard? These are all the cool Show guns. me what you've got. I bet they're going to be way too expensive for us, though. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock, Spectre. Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, <laughs> he just looked me up. He should have known that straight away. Come on. Enjoy. Nice. I love rare stocks. Mm. Look at that. Look at how much that is. How much money do I have? Two thousand four hundred. Yeah, I'm not gonna afford that anytime soon, am I? Although those things are awesome later on. What's the nearest thing I can afford? 
any second now. <laughs> it's gonna be nothing, isn't it? Oh, great. Increase the... Mm. That's useful, because that means I can buy weapons on uh, the Normandy. So I'll have that. And I will have that grenade upgrade. I'll buy other stuff later. Thanks, buddy. That didn't really do much for me, I suppose, but it's better than nothing. What are we, where are we going now? Back to the Normandy. Yeah, where am I going? Oh, okay, gotta go to the docking bay. Right. So... I don't know where that is. I think it's... Will it be on the fast travel? Huh, huh, why do I know? Nope. Ward locations, it won't be on the ward, surely. No! Where the hell am I supposed to go? <laughs> oh, God. Right, I think... Oh, yes! <laughs> I knew that, that's fine. Ignore me, I don't know anything. So, this is a bit of a slow episode, purely because it's... Just In saying, look, news, Exogeny Corp is still denying reports. Um, if you want to read what the elevator says as well, go for it. I don't care. Um, I'll let you. I'll, I'll let you pause it. No, you can pause it. Like, you know. I'll let you. Company officials uh, refuse to comment. Big deal or anything? I should really. I, I've. Uh, I'm recording this ten minutes before I go to work. I was just thinking I really should uh, make a video because I've been uploading a lot of Vox Must Die Two at the moment. Well, a lot. I've been recording a lot. And then the recording's been failing. Um, had a lot of technical issues there. So, Wastel and I will be uploading more videos soon. We've got... I think we're about six episodes in. But we haven't recorded episode three and four because they corrupted files or something stupid. Anyway, let's talk to these guys. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. What? She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll be nice to this guy. I'll take good I'll care be mean of her, to sir. people I don't like. I know you will, Commander. Why? I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? Yes. I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. Well... I had my shot. Maybe they should away. revoke your revocation. you have revocation. a chance to make up for my mistakes. You can count I on me, sir. Down, sir. He's like one of the only Saren's people. Gone. Don't he even should try be nice to, too, I think. <laughs> but we know what he's after. The I don't know. I've never been. He's got us get scouring the traverse. I'm only going to be evil to we people who are evil back, like this dude. System shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he. What does. about the Reapers? The Reapers are the real threat. Yeah, they are. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not well, sure you don't know anything. Exist. You're just a, an ambassador. But if they do exist, you're not military. The conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from Count returning. on me. I'll stop it. Yeah. With my fist. We have one more lead. Matriarch, Matriarch Benizia. Benizia. The other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Um, I wasn't listening, so I'm just gonna go with that one. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. I know. But your actions still but reflect which, on humanity. That's kind of weird. I'm taking a the human ship. I get stuck cleaning it up. You make a mess and I get... Uh -huh. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. Oh my god. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can so answer racist. any questions you might have. Doesn't matter what race you are. Renegade plus two, that's what I'm talking about. 
Um, and that's it. I'll I'll talk to you later, dude. Ooh, hello. Look at this. And you, you inspect the different parts of the ship, and you can actually get points for it for some reason. Huh? Yeah. There we go. Inspect the hull. Where is it? You get experience and a bit of money. Lovely. That was nice. <laughs> Ooh, there's a keeper up here. Money! Yeah, alright. So uh, let's end this with a beautiful cutscene of... I don't care about you, Anderson, at the moment. Sorry. I, I can't deal with any more talking in this episode. It's just been too much. Let's go into our lovely, beautiful ship. And hopefully there's going to be a cutscene. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Warm. Warm. Decontamination in progress. Yeah, you said that already. Okay, is that it? I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Oh yeah. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. Hundred percent. Intercom's on. Right, Captain, now. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. Nah, let's be nice to the crew. Be nice to the people we're Commander protecting, Shepard's and then just evil to have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. Oh, the captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We take can't a sound, Joker. Yes, sir. I'm not going anywhere. See, look outside. Why is that a thing? I don't understand. How is that a codex? You looked outside. The world is out. Well, not the world. The galaxy is outside. Well done. Good job. Um, I thought there was going to be a cutscene there. There wasn't, so I'm just going to do a captain-y thing and stand here and look cool. Ha ha ha! I should rule you all! In the next episode, we're going to go and uh, fly in space. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. And I won't forget the majority of things that I was going to try and say in this episode. Because <laughs> I had like a long list of things. I, I felt like I should say, like, uh, Orcs Must Die will be up soon hopefully because I, I've been really lazy and haven't managed to get around to editing things anyway I gotta go so thanks for watching see you next time